Like President Jacob Zuma's State of the Nation address on 11 February, during which he cataloged the successes of the ruling party in the past two decades and reiterated that we have a good story to tell, the budget presented by Finance Minister Pravin Gordon yesterday was yet another opportunity for the ruling party not only to beat its chest proudly about past accomplishments, but also to single out for special attention areas of expenditure which would ingratiate the ruling party with the masses. Therefore, it could very easily have been an election budget intended primarily to palliate the increasingly frustrated electorate. It is not surprising, therefore, that Minister Gordon said at the beginning of his budget presentation, we have achieved much, but there's much to do again, and concluded with the remarks, this is a good story to tell. Such things are to be expected in an election year. That notwithstanding, it must be said though, as will be clear during Hank's presentation later, that Minister Kodan and the government succeeded in striking a good balance between an election budget and a balanced national budget. For that, they need to be commended. In conclusion, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, the business community would do well to anticipate enormous pressure from the incoming government to advance or accelerate economic transformation much more over the next five years. The saving grace, however, is that the government appears to have finally accepted the strategic importance of business, not only with regards to corporate taxes, but more importantly when it comes to job creation.